Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This year's Optimus Speech Contest topic is Cyber Communication. Progress or problem? Two words. I'm okay. They sound rather benign out of context. Now, imagine the room we are in shifting, the walls crumbling, the floors dropping beneath us. In seconds, we are beneath a pile of rubble. We are unconscious. We awake. Seconds, minutes, hours, days later, in the pitch black with dust filling our lungs in pain, cold and hungry. We scream for help, but no one responds. After an interminable time, we remember the cell phone in our pocket. When we finally reach it, we text, I'm okay, to our mother, husband, son. Help me. This scene has played out hundreds of times in Haiti since the January 12th 7.0 magnitude earthquake devastated this Caribbean nation. Poet Heather Cortez writes, to the world you may be one person, but to one person you are the world. Any parent will tell you that their children are their worlds. In Haiti, an emergency text message comes to relief workers from a collapsed school with children still alive in the debris. The rescue team can't find where they are in the chaos. Then, almost 2,000 miles away in Boston, a group of volunteers electronically pinpoints the source of the text, and they tweet the information back to Haiti. The humanitarian response to this natural disaster has seen the unprecedented use of cyber communications, and it is saving lives. Rob Monroe from Stanford specializes in methods to manage and process text messages. He said the damage of the earthquake, the total number of texts is in the thousands, with them arriving every five seconds in busy times to every 10 minutes overnight. Some of them are critical, begging for help. Others ask that word be given to their loved ones. Now, I was born in 1995, so I've taken cyber communications somewhat for granted. But now I realized for the first time in history, it's been faster and more utilized than mainstream conventional media. But with anything, there is a flip side. Cyberbullying, pornography, identity theft, and even a lack of social skills development associated with cybercom. Parents have to be involved. Children can't spend all day on the computer and never go outside and play a sport. If all I did was text and communicate online, I would never learn how to talk face to face with someone, which is critical for job interviews, public speaking engagements, and life in general. This is why cyber communications has to be one form to communicate, not the only way to. Former IBM chairman Louis Gerstner once said, Computers are magnificent tools for the realization of our dreams. But no machine can replace the human spark of spirit, compassion, love, and understanding. All anyone has to do is look at the situation in Haiti alone to see that cyber communications is hands down progress. Instant communications to the medical field, government, disaster relief, is progress. A church in Dorada, New York, sent missionaries to build an orphanage in Haiti, and they landed just hours before the quake. After 24 grueling hours of worry, one member was able to connect back home. They sent a two-word text. Two words, and yet sometimes, they're the most meaningful words in the world. I'm 
Okay. Thank you.